Hello everyone and welcome to season one. Today we're watching My Dress Up Darling episode five. The last episode we had Wakana in crunch time as he worked hard during two weeks to make her a dress. But he wasn't doing just that. He also had his grandpa hurting his back and going to the hospital and then staying for two weeks with his uncle and cousin. There was also the midterms that he had to study for. And there was also a door at the at the Gojo Dolls workplace. So there was a lot on his plate. But he did manage to do it. He did um, break down from overwork at some point. Which should be expected. That's way too much for a single person to handle. But he remembered the words of his father. Which was about like, yeah, sometimes it can get tiresome. And it may seem boring to do the same thing over and over, but then you have to remember the smiles of the people when you're done, when you show them the finished product. That's what helps you get keep going. And with that, he remembers my smiles and her being thankful for him because he's helping her with her dream. And that gave him the courage, the determination, the strength to keep going. And he went on and on until he she got a message. It's done. I'm gonna sleep. And it was amazing, but she was not expecting that. It the deadline wasn't really a deadline. She was actually gonna give him free reign to finish whenever possible, since she had no idea how long it would take. And she did not want to put the pressure on him, so just Take as long as necessary, I'll go when you're done, like, it's fine, but she did not quite convey that very well, and she mentioned the event, but she was just mentioning the event, she did not mean like, oh, I'm gonna cosplay in the next event in two weeks, she did not mean that way, but she didn't convey it very well, so there was that miscommunication there, but then it was all fine, he was just happy that it's all gonna work out, he can just amend things during the time and yeah I think that's where we are all I can think about is that she's probably gonna go to an event this episode I don't know if it's this event or like next one if they're gonna skip sometime I don't know if Gojo's gonna go with her if he's gonna sleep I'm guessing he will but he will go with her but I don't know but yeah I think that's all I have to say so, as a reminder, this is a timer reaction, which means you sync up your own version with mine and we'll watch it together. I'll try to add some scenes here and there, but don't expect too much. That being said, let's get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so we're continuing right where the last half to end up. Like, she dressed up on it as she wants to try it. And then she's excited, asking if she became Shizuka-tan finally. And she got all excited when he answered her. Look at that. Look, she's so excited. Like, yeah, this is what I've been wanting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it might have to do with the chain that on the arm and the neck, but what do I know about cosplay? But, <laughs> of course, she's excited about that and just bouncing around, and that is totally uncomfortable for him. Yeah. All the little details of the... <laughs> He's a guy. <laughs> well, that was only the first one. Imagine how it's gonna be later on. With more experience. <laughs> She's beside herself with joy. <laughs> Oh, photos. 
Look at that, she looks like a doll. And there we go. Simple photo. Oh, shit. And she's finally able to actually see the photo, how she looks like. Yeah. Because Shizuku isn't supposed to be like an ice queen. And she's very excited, so she's just acting like mighty. And then the professional in him kicking in. Like, already right, think on professional photos. A white background, just as simple as possible. Remember, the ice queen. Yeah, there we go. What? <laughs> what is that? She's just so bubbly and excited about become she's that she can't sit still and become the ice queen. The expressionless, the cold face. Can she do it? Yeah, there we go. See? Yeah. And they kept going. And that one's just lying down. Like the photo shoot when they first what? Oh, okay, so she is lying down, and she's lying down on his bed, right? And just okay with that. I guess he's just focusing on the photos. He wasn't really focused on her and his bed. Cosplay. Mighty going with Mighty. Really not, not that creative, but eh. she just titled that on the spot. So. Okay, so now she wants to go to the event tomorrow. Yeah, it's the only one to go, you know. She was just mentioning the event for, but now she's she's a done. Oh, that's right, the opening. I completely forgot about the opening. I, I was so engrossed in it already that. I completely forgot we did not have an opening yet. But yeah, she's so bubbly about finally become Shizuka. He helped her realize her dream already. Earlier than she expected, too. And I'm surprised he hasn't, like, just knocked down unconscious. Either here or by the around the end of the last episode since he was so tired like the on his the eye bags he had like i was expecting the last episode for him to just fall unconscious asleep at any point and multiple times but no he's still there i guess just focusing on the events right now and he didn't get tired so yeah i could imagine some of the class but not that one that one like the different skin and everything but who knows, maybe a cosplayer have a secret technique for that. I don't cosplay, I don't know. Like, they work so hard in every little detail, like, it's very impressive. So I don't know if they have, she's gonna have, like, a secret technique to become that cosplay. Or it's just, I don't know. It's probably because this is the best boot bag here. What even is the context for that sentence? Like, I have no idea. Acosta. <laughs> look at people cosplaying. Oh, look, they have the same outfit? Or just different de genders? Or are they gonna... Like, two people of the same group. The steampunk one. Mummy time. Uh, like she's recognized all those cosplays or cosplayers i don't know if she's talking about the cosplays or the cosplayers the characters or the people yeah <laughs> her cosplay debut all oh, thanks to that guy what what is it yeah what 
Oh. Come on, Wakana. You're better than that. You can't come down. They're probably staring at her with her awesome cosplay. Yeah, see? They oh, all the outfit. <laughs> come on, Wakana. They're not. They're not doing that because of you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and she's bouncing it around. Oh, hey. There's the title. Okay, I guess. And she's just bouncing around. Okay, go to the plaza. Photographers. There we go. Just a chill area. Oh, hey, Hori Mia there. I noticed Hori, Yuki, and... I forgot the name of the guy with the green hair. Okay, a cosplayer. <laughs> oh, looks like she's about to get her own line. Yeah, you're the one to cosplay. Oh, hey, he recognized it. I was wondering if anyone was going to recognize that line. No, it's just that she's not used to it. It's her first time. But she's excited for it. And he's just going to the corner. Let her do her thing. Let her do her magic. Let's go. Yeah, you train the poses. Well. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, there we go. See, that was a nice one. And she wants a picture celebrated. That's making him feel uncomfortable. Like, wait, I'm in the picture with you? Like, she wants him to get closer and everything. Like, I wonder if she like plans to take a picture with everyone. She, that, yeah, like this person, she's gonna take a picture with them. Oh, look, she even has her own line now. She wanted to get in line, now she has a line. Now she has a line. Yeah, I don't know. Look, look at all those photos. She practiced hard yesterday to learn how to incorporate Shizuk done. Yeah? And everyone, guys are girls, and girls are guys, guys as guys, girls as girls. Like, yeah, they're cosplaying their favorite characters. And everyone's just enjoying it. It's just an adventure. Enjoy yourself. And see how the pretty cosplays and average people put into it. Hmm? Oh, you're thinking it's over? Oh, no, no, no. This is just a start. But, yeah, I guess you're thinking like, Oh, I made my promise. Now it's over. We're going to go our separate ways. But no, you guys are going to be working more. And then she call you a friend. So not a like a partner or co-worker. A friend. So yeah, it's not a while you do the making the cosplay for her that she was going to be your friend. That's not how friends work, sir. Though I guess you don't have a lot of experience with that. So, hmm. Hey, he, he had fun. Hmm? Is she looking around for him? What? The smile. That smile. Okay. And that caught him. Yep, she says happy and this is all thanks to him and she's riding towards him a bit sweaty <laughs> the chain there why are you so surprised she's going to talk 
you guys came here together. You guys are in the group. Thought he just left. I guess he did consider that, but no. Yeah, what? Yeah, I did not expect that. I thought she was going to say something else. That was not even on my mind. What happened? You notice something? Oh, and she messed with the outfit? Ah, she was new breath. It was just about to pop. Yeah. He made it for the size that it was. But, well, if she messed with her measurements, so of course, being a bit tight. I guess in more ways than one. Oh, now he's gonna blame on himself. He's gonna think it's his fault that she's feeling like that. Yeah. Gotta take care of cool down. I do know that's important. Especially when since they were outside under the sun. She's just done. Well hey, now you learn for next time. <laughs> he knows a lot. That is bouncing around quite a lot. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's focusing on it. Yep. It's definitely focusing. It's definitely bouncing. And all the sweat. And he's just looking at it. <laughs> Double new parts are too powerful. Okay. <clears throat> yep. Okay. He's just fine with that. He's the one that's not. Okay. Yeah, just a little. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna help her get to the dressing room? Are you gonna do it right here? What are you gonna do? I guess the latter choice. Yeah. Helping her out. Oh. <laughs> He's dying of embarrassment there. Oh. She's not helping the situation. Uh, and wipe her back. Oh my god, he's not gonna survive today. Good. He's he's dying there. Just the subtitle there and the voice like out of context. He's not helping what I'm saying. Like getting this part out of context, it gives a totally different idea. And the way he's acting, probably. He's probably thinking about that. Wow, just... Okay, we're... Wearing shorts. Yeah, there we go. Wearing shorts on the... Right, what? What is right? Uh, he did a quick fix there. 
Yeah, he's worried about her. Hmm? What are they gonna do at the plaza? What, she's gonna take a picture with him there or something? Before they go? Oh, the woman that was with her when she left to talk to him. So she ran off on her. I thought they were done. Look at that, she's all worried about her. Every, everyone here is nice. Yeah, there we go. A shot in the shade. It's refreshing. Yeah. And the wind blowing. Oh. Okay. And even she's embarrassed. Counting. Uh, 17. What is that counting of? Is it like number of pictures taken or something? I don't know. She's counting something. I had no idea what she's counting. She was worried about, like, taking a picture to not even mind the wind. Oh, yeah, plenty of room. There we go. She changed out of it. No. Gonna just relax. Hmm? He's thanking her. And he think he's over. Yeah, you sure did. Experience something that you're not used to. <laughs> when, when he's gonna figure out that this is not over, there's gonna be more cosplays in the future. Because he's thinking like, yeah, we're gonna go our separate ways. There it is. I was just wondering what was gonna be the the finer feeling that there's gonna be more. Fifty number one favorites. Yeah, exactly. Like, how's that one? It can be your favorites, but number one favorites. But hey. Now you know, there's more to come. <laughs> he, he caught him. She caught him. He's all excited about this because the adventure is going to continue. There's going to be a sequel. Look at him, all formal there. He even caught her by surprise. But yeah, he's very formal. A dressed mannequin. Yeah, and she's got a funding him because it's for her, so makes sense. He's just falling asleep. He probably did not sleep enough the day before that they were gonna go to this event. So he's still probably still a bit tired from all the making of the dress. Yeah, everyone was having fun, being polite, kind. I wonder if I can find any more references. I know this is the same picture before. I don't know. If you find any more, feel free to tell me. Yeah, everyone's just doing what they love. <laughs> Yeah, because she was going to go to the line, but ended up she getting her own line and never went there. And he's just... Okay, he's picturing her back then. Think of that smile. Oh, he said it! Is she going to remember, though? Does seem like she's remembering. Flashing back to when he said, yep. There it is. So she knows, like, he really means it. Hmm? 
Yeah, <laughs> she got super embarrassed about that. And she's asleep, so he can't even see her reaction. <laughs> Look at that. She does not know how to react. Like, the little chibi that dance are so cute. But yeah, I'll, I knew he was going to call her beautiful at some point in the series. I just didn't know when. Like, I thought he was going to do that when she first tried out the cosplay at his house, but that did not happen. But it turns out it was after the, the first event was over. When they were going home, she mentioned that. And then he fell asleep, so he did not even see her reaction to it. Maybe he did not even realize he was saying it. Like, too drowsy to even think about it. <laughs> like, that's so adorable. To just enjoy while he goes along with her. But at the end of the day, he enjoys that. He does end up enjoying it. Like, he's out of his element, but it doesn't mean like he's not going to enjoy it. And she just average take him along. So yeah, well, it does seem very disconnected being this out of space. It does make sense thematic wise, like she's carrying him around. Cloverworks. Wait, Cloverworks is Toji Mia, didn't it? So it makes sense that it showed up there. And I did. For real? Yeah, no, this could be anything. So, yeah, that's it. And that was Amsel, so... Yeah, that was fun. I kind of expected the event, but did not know what would happen in the event, so... Hey, we got... Got her cosplaying, got her... Cosplay debut, she getting her own line of pictures, and then the heat stroke, and calling her beautiful, like, all that was in Compose there. So, yeah, now they learn about the heat stroke. They're gonna watch out for that, especially Wakana. He's gonna probably take that into consideration with the outfit, like, prepare some tools with him in the bag. Um, maybe she'll stay more in the shade, who knows. And probably not messing around with the outfit, Missy, adding two new bras to it. Because that also helped her like feel tight as it was about to pop out. Um what else is it? Like she was all bubbly and giddy. Finally become she was done. Like she couldn't sit still. That was adorable. But completely understandable. Like if you've been wanting some for so long and it's one day you're gifted that like you're gonna be super excited not being able to sit still. So yeah that's basically what happened. Um, what else? Like, they had that. They practiced the posings for the photographies at home. So she did very well with that at the cosplay event. Like, everyone there was nice, kind, polite, like, very soft. Like, very good. Good job, people. I don't think there's any of those kind of events around here. And if there are, I don't know yet, painting of them. It would be nice to look at that. But I don't live in that kind of situation. And besides, we're in the pandemic, so... Yeah, that's probably not a good idea right now. Um, anyways, back to the episode. So we had pic people take a picture of her. She took a picture of that person. I don't know if she took a picture of somebody, anyone else, or if just... That one, because that marks the first person that took a picture of her cosplay in an event. Like, that was the first one. So maybe that one was special in itself. And there was all the drying out from the heat, to avoid heat stroke. That was in in itself. Like, if we just take the subtitles and the voice and just a black screen. Some people might think it was something else. And judging from Wakana's reaction, he's probably one of those people thinking about that. Like, it just kept getting worse. I'll just leave it at that. 
but yeah, I was wondering if it was gonna carry her to the dressing room or just help her right there. And the latter option was chosen. Um, and yeah, they went back home. She's let him know that there's gonna be more in the future. Like, their partnership wasn't a one time thing. Thing. But yeah, now they're gonna work more cosplay in the future, so I'm guessing, like, maybe next episode they're gonna decide on what's gonna be the next outfit. Maybe she's gonna experience the game or something to figure out the lore and the character behind it, like he did with Shizuk Tan. And yeah, I have no idea what else there could be. Like, everything else in the future is just a blank. Um, we had him calling her beautiful, which she did remember what he said before, like how he only really says pretty and beautiful when he really means it. So that, like, really shook her to the core and she was super embarrassed about that. I think that was the second time she'd been embarrassed with him. Which is a nice change of pace, considering, like, he's normally the one embarrassed with her. So yeah, they form such a nice couple and just really help each other out, so it's just very constructive and, and healthy couple. And yeah, I can't wait for more. But I think that's all for today, so with that being said, see you next time. Bye-bye!